Today, we will talk about the very first operation and check that you should do after you will receive your brand new engine. After 10 or 15 hours of flying, Vitorazzi recommends to check the cylinder head bolt torque. Today, we will show you how to do it. Sure that you have springs and release the tension Hi there, my name is Stefan. Welcome back to the Paramotor Engine Maintenance Series. Today will be a short one and as I said before, we will show you how to retorque and check the cylinder head bolt torque. Let's do it. First, remove the spark plug cap. Then, remove the spark plug. The 6mm Allen key. Loosen and remove the cooling shroud bolts. Now be sure not to lose the washers that are behind, underneath the cooling shroud, because we have a washer on the top and a washer below, under. So, be sure not to lose them. After we remove the cooling shroud, now we have access to the cylinder head bolts or nuts. So the way I do it is not only check but actually retorque every single bolt. So how to do that? With a 13 millimeter socket, I just loosen one at a time. Okay, now it's loose. I put, I take the torque wrench, set up to 18 newton meters. And then I torque it back. First done. In a cross pattern, of course, I loosen up the second one. Again, 18 Newton meters. The third one. Loosen up. And the, and the very last one. Loosen up. Now check once more. Torque. This is torqued, checked, checked. As you could see, very simple operation, doesn't take a lot of time. And after that, you are sure that the head is torqued properly and the cylinder and the gaskets in between the crankcase, cylinder and the cylinder head are compressed and compressed to the specified torque. And now we will be stress-free for the next 25, 50 hours. Next step, let's mount the cooling shroud back. We will use a little bit of Loctite. We're done. Now remember, as we take the cooling shroud, one washer on the top, one washer below. And first bolt, put it here, second one, one washer on the top, one washer below, the carbon,
Now with the 6mm Allen bit installed on the torque wrench that is set up to 25Nm, we will torque the cooling shroud bolts. And using a 13mm wrench, we will hold in place the cylinder head nuts, so we are sure that when we torque these bolts to the 25Nm, we don't over torque these nuts that were tightened down with 18Nm. So, holding in place... One is done. Second is done. Fourth. Now install the spark plug back. Spark plug cap. And we are good to go. As you could see, this was a pretty fast and easy operation, and in my opinion, you shouldn't skip it. Once you're doing that, you're just good to go for the next 50, 100 hours until you will open the head for taking the carbon out and inspecting the, the piston rings and whatever. So take your time, it's not more than 10, 15 minutes, and you will be stress free. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe button because we will have quite a few more videos to come in which, as I told you in the previous videos, we will go deep inside into the engine and we will show you how to change piston rings, pistons, crankshaft bearings, and so on and so on. I will highly appreciate if you share this video with your friends and who knows, maybe they will learn something new. Thank you very much. See you next time. Ciao.